I have with me a group of B.Tech students from R.V. College of Engineering, Bengaluru, who have designed a nano satellite. In fact, first microbiological payload from India. Thank you very much for your time. Your satellite is called R.V. Sat One, yeah. and you are sending gut bacteria to the space. What exactly are you trying to find out? So we're trying to find out how the bacteria grows in space. We're trying to find uh, the growth kinetics of the bacteria and we're trying to infuse prebiotics along with it and just basically understand how the space affects the growth of the bacteria. Why do you think this is important for India? So this is important because India is planning to have missions like Gaganyaan and Bharatiya Antrik Station. So when we send humans to space, it is important to understand how the human body responds to space. So how we are trying to test how human digestive system affects is affected by the space. Possible application? Well, uh, the data from this experiment will inform future decisions on how we can potentially fortify our astronauts mm -hmm. or treat potential ailments that uh, befall them when they're in space. For a common man to understand, tell me what is this gut bacteria is all about? So this gut bacteria actually helps you in like the digestion process. So this, when we send this and record this data in space, we can uh, analyze how humans actually like the human digestive system actually works over there. If this gets suppressed, it's actually a good news for us because then we know that like it is actually beneficial for it is not it is not going to disadvantage to humans in space. And it's going to be a very short lived one, right? Yeah, the experiment is only for two days. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, after launch, we will inoculate the microbes with the uh, growth medium. After that, the microbe will start growing. And then, yeah, in two days, we'll get the growth curve. In a sense, it's first of its kind. How exciting was the experience? Uh, all to get put together, it was a very exciting project to work on. And uh, since, as you mentioned, it's the first one to uh, happen from India. So, uh, really looking forward to the results and uh, looking forward to the launch. We have two faculty members as well. Uh, what kind of uh, mentoring did you give them? No, first thing is motivation for them. And then whenever they had some issues with either technical or administrative issues, you really helped them. And that has helped them to grow over the batches because it started in 2018. Now it has culminated in 2024 now. So over the period, one batch to another batch, they have passed on the knowledge and it has helpful to continue the work. Right. In terms of cost, Professor? The cost, total cost supported by the college is about 27 to 30 lakhs. Not we have not spent all the money, but uh, actually if, if we had to spend on the testing part and all that, you know, we got a lot of support from some of the organizations where we got some concessional uh, you know, fee for the test to be conducted. So that's a big plus. So otherwise, I think the college has already sanctioned about 30, 30 plus lakhs for this project. Right. What next for young students like you who have been part of this team? Uh, so, I mean, as a mission manager, it was my idea to uh, inspire youngsters to see, uh, to open eyes in uh, the astrobiology or the space biology field. So, this will pave way for future younger generations to not only uh, just explore space, but also expand in the space biology field and see how it can advance humanity further. And uh, for India, it's very important? Yeah, it is a very important mission for India. As you mentioned, it's, it's first time we are sending any living organisms to space. In terms of application? In terms of application, it will be used in all the future manned missions and this data is really crucial for the same. I mean, I'm sure other countries have done this, uh, but how important is for India to have its own research-based uh, knowledge on this? Yeah, so this is for the first time that this particular gut bacteria is going. There are certain missions by NASA agreed, but then there is not much research in the gut microbiome as such. So it is a very crucial step in that sense. Right. Thank you very much uh, for your time. All the best. That was Team RV Sat One talking to us. Actually, Harry Kota, Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.